Ooh, Vegas. Fight, uh, fight weekend, I made uh, 37000 No f***ing way. I had garbage bags of singles. Like I said, me and Malaya was like the girls. So I'm going up there with my like $4,000 crystal Louboutins. Like, yeah, y'all know what to spend money on. They're watching me. So I would have a room where like the money and the jewelry and stuff would be and then where I'm staying. The average size in America mm -hmm. is from three to five inches. Where at? America. What America? What region has the best strip clubs? Oh, all right. Are you serious? I don't care, I said what I said. Mm. I said what I said. Yo, 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 what are you doing? I'm giving you unbelievable content for the masses. And you just gonna keep it to yourself? Do me a favor, tap that red button right there. Subscribe, and it literally takes no time. Try to see what happens. Yo, what's good? What's popping? What it is, what it ain't, what it could be, what it should be, what it would be. Cam Newton, the son, Mr. Boogie the All, and I'm here with another episode of Funky Friday, and I promise to give good content for the masses, but most of all, most of all, I promise to keep it funky for your asses. Now, today's, uh, where do I start? Reality, TV personality, mm -hmm. um, person that uh, had a interesting past, but today you may see her as skit, 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 DJ and you dig it on saying, you feel me? She told me too that she gonna keep it a book always, open book like a, a library. So uh, I present this time and introduce the others, DJ Nia Lee. Hey y'all, what's up? OG Nia Lee in the building. OG. Yeah, OG Nia Lee, but as the DJ is DJ Nia Lee, because DJ OG Nia, that's a lot. It's a lot of letters. Oh, that was been DJ OG, OG Nia, Nia Lee. That that was too much. It could be a bar though. Um, DJ OG, OG Nia, Nia Lee. Yeah, okay. but DJ Nia Lee. Yeah, I'm here. Talk to me. Thank you for having me. How you thugging? I am good. You know, repping the Yankees, New York in the house, BX. I said I couldn't tell that you was from New York. I know, BX. Yeah. Cause Brooklyn be trying to claim me, mm. but I'm from the Bronx, the boogie, the boogie down. down. Yeah, yeah. Where hip hop originated. Okay, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna do that. But what we're gonna do is this. Can women sense intimidation from a man? Oh, yeah. Now, I, like, as soon as I met you, well, this was like 15 minutes ago. Mm. <laughs> Like your your energy is like engulfing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But is it alpha to you, you think? It, it could be. Okay. <laughs> Depending on whose yeah. view with their perspective. So mm -hmm. as a person, first off, let's clear the ways. Do we have anybody on your bumper? Like, do I have a man right now? No. Yeah. Man, woman, mm -mm. them, that. Yeah, I don't have anything right now. Because of what? What's wrong with you? I'm single right now. Like, I'm just dating. I'm just dealing with people because I was a serial dater. So I was in relationship after relationship. Mm. And after being with my child's brother, I just decided to take a break and mm. just date myself. Heal by myself. Learn myself. Because I never, like, from like 19, I feel like I just been in a relationship. I'm like... So I'm not over here like, oh, I don't, I don't believe in love. No, I just wanted a break. Like nobody to check where you at, where you, I don't want that right now. That's cap. No, it's not. Everybody wants somebody. Not right now. I do eventually. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm never getting back in a relationship. Love, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I was in relationships for mad years. Mm. I don't want to do that no more right now. Mm. And I'm in a transition. I'm a single mother. Like, I got to focus. Mm. And I've tried it, being a kept, it don't work for me because I don't listen. That's your problem. <laughs> and that's your red flag right there. I looked at your Yelp, your Yelp <laughs> review and your Carfax. It was like, this is don't. insubordinate. Someone don't listen. She going to check your, she going to get you out of character, which is going to make you do something. Like, we got to, uh-uh. Because I'm a true Sagittarius. Terror, yeah. Terrorists. Yeah, Sagittarius. How terrorists. did you like what? Like what? What good comes out of that? I mean, listen. I just don't take no. I just don't take no. 
and I'm just not like right now while I'm focused on what I'm focused on. I like I've been in relationships as I was building, doing music and things like that. And like I don't have time for nobody to throw me off. Like, so I just don't have time to engage in those emotions that, you know, come with being in a relationship. That's what I'm saying. Just okay. right now. So can I give you my um my just my two cents? Yeah, go ahead. I don't think you've had a man mm -hmm. to be an asset in your life. Okay. Cause what you're describing. Mm -hmm. Our liabilities. Facts. We need you to get some assets. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'm not settling either no more. As you should not. Yeah. I wouldn't expect you to settle. Yeah, I'm not settling. So, so I, I, I'm a person that's that's always um, creating an unmatched vibe setter. That's what I am. Mm-hmm. And I asked you a, a question off camera mm -hmm. about, do you know the person who put it down the best in your life? I do know the person that put it down the best in my life. Are you going to share? I'm going to share the region because I don't want them to look for him. Okay. But he's from Brooklyn. 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 Is he popping? No. Regular day. I don't do rappers and like I don't do those like that. Like that's not my thing. I don't. Listen. Cause I'm a rapper. You know, if a you. rapper play with me, I'ma do a diss record. Like that's how we come in. Like, no. No, <clears throat> it won't be in your favor. No, I could spit. As you so, I you can spit. <laughs> I can spit. So no, I'm saying literally or figure. <laughs> both, that, uh, both, both, both. I'm nice, I'm nice, I'm nice that. like that. You can't grade you on paper though. I'm nice. Listen. Cause like you said, people talk. So I've heard about myself. I've seen some things about me in group chats and things. Yeah. They talk and they get back. I stay seeing And you a snooper. No, my boys so be showing me. Like, nah, oh, sometimes my boys. Group chat. Sometimes my boys will be like, yo. Mm. Let's talk about you. You know what I mean? Some people might have seen some of my stuff like on my OF. You know, there's a couple things out there that. Like you just keep talking yeah. to these OGs, DJ. OF is only fans. Like people, you know. I, oh, you got an only fans? Yeah, I do. If a man had OnlyFans, <laughs> if man had OnlyFans, what would you like? Be like, yo, what you do? Like, I'ma subscribe, mm. so I can see what he working with. What? Like, did I go on a date with him already, or I didn't? Like, no, y'all in that. You in that? Oh, phase. we already talking. Y'all in that phase. We haven't yeah. had sex yet, and yeah, I find yeah, out yeah. he has. I, I, it's, it's early. All right, boom. We didn't have sex yet, and I find out. Let, let, let's say, let's say this. All right, I'm, I'm, yeah, set I'm, it up. I'm, I'm, I got you. So, boom, whether it was done or it wasn't, y'all are at that point of that relationship where y'all hit that first intersection. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Usually the first intersection comes after sex, right? Intersection meaning sex does two things in a relationship. It's either going to bring you closer or it's going to separate you. Facts. So whether it was in or not, or mm -hmm. you may have been talking to a person long enough that you'd be like, yo, what is it? Like, what are we? Mm -hmm. Do I like being around her? Do I like talking to him? Mm -hmm. You know, is he fun? Is she engaging? You know, like it's a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna subscribe. Mm. Like I'm gonna go check it out. What's and... What's alarming to you that you would say like, uh, uh, I can't. Nothing. I mean, I'm with everything, so there's nothing that like. A guy could do that. I'm gonna be like, I, I like, I don't want to find out about his cer certain sexual desires. Like, I'd rather him tell me. Like, I don't want to go on the internet and see it. Like, I want you to tell me if you into certain things. Like, if you into your being eight, like, you need to tell me that. I don't need to find that on your OnlyFans. <laughs> so, you know that, like, that. Mm -hmm. In every shadow, every spotlight, there's a tale. And my Mashika hat is the narrator. You know I never step out without a hat. There's a reason for that. It's more than just a hat, it's a vibe. It's the main character. These aren't your run of the mill hats, folks. They're handcrafted and tailored to you. Here's the deal. You can rock a Mashika hat too. Head to Mashika.com, use the code FUNKY to get 10% off. And trust me, once you feel that Mashika magic, there's no turning back. Open book, right? Very. Here we go. Open book disc question. What's your porn category? Big booties. Mm. Big booties. From the man or from the female? From the female. Do you like women? 
Only in threesomes, not one-on-one. Have you ever been in a one-on-one situation? Yeah, drunk. We both, our sneaky links not answering. We like... What are we doing? Let's... Uh, let's sizzle. Let's just get this out. Spoon. Let's just, just, let's just cut it out. I like you. <laughs> I like you. You going places. Thank you. I hope I, I could be in the Uber when you go in there too. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, but hey, yeah, hey, that hey. literally is the only time, like the two, yeah, no, three. The three times in my life, it was literally a situation where we both was like me and my homegirl. You sure it ain't four? No, it's three for sure. It's three. It's mm. three. I don't really do girls like that, especially right. one-on-one, so it's easy to remember. And every time it was like, we on our way back home, probably to my house or whatever, like, and we're calling, calling, we were like, well, you here, I'm here. Shower, I got towels, like, let's get it. Shower, towel, towel. Mm. I judge a girl that don't get in the shower first. You say what? I judge a girl that don't get in the shower before they get crazy. Like, after the club, like, especially you just asked me, that I do threesomes, right? Like, me, I don't board a girl home. I ain't even. And then they don't even want to hop in the shower. You just like. <laughs> We was out at the club and you was when they nah. played that, you know, but mm. I'm put this right here. Right here. <laughs> so you gonna judge a chick mm -hmm. who don't take the initiative. What yeah. like how many points is getting deducted if she doesn't? She got to, because we ain't I'm not even doing that. Like I'm gonna say, hey girl. You want to come over, come over here with this water? Let's play with DJ Soap and- I already got know. the water. She what? I already, you know what y'all, <laughs> I already got the water. Wink, wink. No, I don't, that water need to be rinsed off. <laughs> <laughs> that water need to be- Water needs some dub, baby. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. And it's fine. I'm judging. Mm. Not doing it either. So, so back to the original question. Mm -hmm. The region was Brooklyn. Brooklyn. All right, going off just your personal map of of uh, geographical penis slinging. Mm, that's a good one. I, listen, I'm trying to geographical say. penis land. That's like a good yeah. a map. What? And then you like pin a penis to everywhere you was at. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. I, want all I, right I don't want to judge. Oh, okay. What we are going to do is play the game of, this ain't the game. But okay. <laughs> what region has the best penis? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, okay, I'm not, all right. Respectfully. Amongst the girls, I feel like. Well, you. Oh, for me. Because this is discretionary. Like, you, I could ask. Okay, a so for me, it's definitely going to be East Coast, like, for sure. Mm. Definitely East Coast. Um, And amongst, like, the girls in the group chats, they say East Coast, too. East Coast, okay. Take me East North Coast or South. We going to say North. North, stop. But hold on, though, no, because there's some Florida joints that is doing their big ones out here that the girls talk about. Okay. So help the whole a, east. So so help a brother out. Help a brother out. Give me give me three criterias that you judge your Peter Pecker would mm -hmm. on. Length, thickness, passion, like or like the moves. Some got length. They don't be thick. Some be thick. They don't have the length. And some got everything, but don't know how to use it. I don't got none of that. Oh my boy. I feel bad for you. Don't. Bang. But you tall, it'll work for you. Some somebody. It yeah. It ain't about that. <laughs> it's just a, it, it don't matter the size of the of the utensil. It depends on the efficiency in it. Okay. If I were to have the biggest slammer in the world, mm -hmm. then what? No, nobody says you gotta have a big. Okay. Like, but so you gotta now, have something. You, you see nothing like you can't be working with like. Grow up. It, it didn't grow. He was stubborn. So sad. He shy. Sad. But I'm just look. Let's just let's just take it there. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of men be capping though, and you know, let's mm -hmm. just be honest. The average size in America, you could do your research, mm -hmm. is from three to five inches. Where? At? America. What America? Like this one? This is America. 
Like this one right here. I don't know what America me and my homegirls were running through, but if we is in the wrong America to tell me. You in Wakanda. Listen, because three to five, what, high school people? <laughs> it stopped growing in high school. That's crazy. You're gonna hit your max peak at high school. Oh, good. Yeah, I wanna ask. Do it like, do y'all like like it's a point where you like, oh dang, this is that's this is where it is. I think because I don't have one. I don't know what happens. Like, so what grade, like what age do y'all be like? Like it could it could go either way. Like you be like, damn, like, yeah, I'm good. Or you be like, no, I ain't having no more. Like, what age is that? You don't know that, but knowing what I know, it was like 19 when I hit that peak. You was like, like okay, Yo. this is it right here. <laughs> Keep okay. going, big dog. I see where you're going. Let's <laughs> keep working out. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But it's not like, it's not like that's the only muscle of the body <laughs> that you can't work out. It don't matter how many chicks you smash, yeah, it ain't gonna right. get bigger or stronger. You know, it's just the 19, that's a good that's a you got 19 years. So yeah, dang, them them three to fives, they go to 19. I was a rabbit. Mm, crazy. You know what I'm saying? And with my little, with my little engine that could, mm -hmm. you did your he done, big one. A, he done lived a hell of a life, mm -hmm. and 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 living unscathed from that that clap. Yeah, that's a fact. Just make it clap. I didn't Gotta get that. Keep yourself together. My family very open with you keep, that. You keep distracting me from my uh, initial question. Yeah. So to that to that point about finding your or calling cap on you not having a man. Um, going off of your history mm -hmm. of your Carfax, right? When I go down this person, Jaquez, Jabbar, Steven, Doug, Peter. Have you I ever... did have a Peter. <laughs> you... I was waiting for you to say a name because the other ones were... did have one of those. I did have you, 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 you smashed outside your race? Mm -hmm. Would you go back? No. Okay. I would, but I would like I don't want to marry outside of my race. Okay. I don't. I'm definitely because I want some more beautiful black babies. Open book, right? Yup. Rank the race. See, but I only stepped out with Spanish, white, black. Those are that's the only races. Every race brings on more people. I mean, the black black is the best, mm. then Spanish. Okay. Then I only had one white boy. One white boy. The other one just... Yeah, it's a black. Peter out no, there that, somewhere. That's blind. <laughs> they have one time in... Yeah, no, but yeah, black first, then Spanish. White, I don't... I can't. I don't really yeah. have a history. But. Man, listen, I'll tell you this. The swaggy white boys, they winning right now. Mm. They winning. Talking about like they got like the 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 fade, you know what I'm saying? No, I'll be seeing some of them on like TikTok and like Instagram, my explore page, mm. and I'm like, wow, look at that vanilla, but just I don't want that swirl. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you call them? Vanilla. Oh. I don't want that swirl. What you thought I said? I said, I said vanilla fudge. What the no, hell? I see them, but uh, I like darkest. Like I like corner under the bed. If we, if we turn off the lights, it's like, smile, baby, where you at? Mm, you like. Purple. I like Wesley. You like navy blue. Mmm, that's a good one. I you know, know. You've you been saying that a lot. I gotta, I gotta look. When next time I'm going to one of these dating sites, I'm they like complexion. I'm like navy blue. No, it's like navy just blue. just link me and be like, yo, Cam, like I need help. That I phone. need a navy blue. I you got it. <laughs> nah, I got him, but he ain't domesticated. Like oh. it's my partners. Oh. Everybody else is like, Cam, put me on one of your friends. Listen. No. It's a caveat to it now. I stay out of that. I let my friends do the date. Like I just bring them and then they talk. I don't wanna, I don't be like here, here, because when it don't this is, work. This is the thing though. All my associates are dogs. But check this out though. The girls too? Uh-huh. Your female friends too? I, I found it with, with my partner. I don't I can't have female constituents. I'm not there mentally yet. Oh, I you know don't have myself. female friends? No. Okay. No, I can't. Why? It's just not. It's just smart. All right. It's you know, cause when my little engine that could okay can okay okay you see what I'm saying? We here Dang, that Wi-Fi no connected. I'm just trying to look. Okay. 
It ain't smart for a, a, a drug addict to live next to the drug house. You know what? You right. So I don't even try to boom. Don't. It's just eh, like I see how you looking. It's just like respectfully. Yeah, can no, I, can I, I take it, it there? Yeah. We, we could never be friends. I don't. All right. It's, it's like. Cause we get to talking, we get to vibing, and then but I know how to like. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I know how to make a. Cause a the pressure, the pressure ain't bro. been applied in a way. It's like it, there's a opportunity that any finesse mm -hmm. from scamming of America, the scamming capital of the world, mm -hmm. Atlanta, Georgia, and scamming come in many shapes, forms, sizes, creeds, colors, and and doctrine, different languages. Mm -hmm. But I could. Hey, you can have, you gotta get yourself together. I'm you trying. To have I just know friends, me. Cause you get older, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it do. But my female friends know my girl. Right. All right. That. It's, but they should. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. But it's like it's the respecting, and I had to learn that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's they like definitely. You can't have two people. It's like because I hate being out with a guy. Like I'm not insecure, right? So if I'm on a date with a dude and like other women talk to them or whatever, especially depending on what they do mm -hmm. for their job. Um, I'm not like, oh, girls can't talk to you, whatever. But I oh, do no. believe there is a level of respect where they should acknowledge a girl. And then, like you said, like if you do have female friends yeah. before your female, your girl lady, mm -hmm. they definitely need to meet. It's got to be a layer of respect. Say less. Sure. So let's get into this game. Mm -hmm. I still ain't even touched it. That's, <laughs> that's a good thing. That's a great thing. All right. Here we go. Let's go. It's not that one. It's this one. It says, who's on your mind? I will say a common first name, right? And then on a count of three, we both blurt out the last name that comes to mind. If we say the same name, we get a point. So we try to be on the same page. Like the Wi-Fi has to be here. So if I say Mary J, and you say on, on the count of three, we got to say the last name. One, two, three, Blige. Blige. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got it. They said, I got, I got you, 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 I got you. Here we go. Naya, you ready? Oh. Mm. <laughs> well, you skipped that day in uh in, I'm blonde, y'all. You boogie, said Naya. I was like, Lee, I get a point? Do I get a point? No, we don't get a point. It's a we thing, not a me thing. Okay, okay. So I we you can't were use the name that. And then I had to do oh my god. Here we go. The the first name is Sean. All right, mm -hmm. you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Combs. Carter. Carter. <sighs> Combs. Carter. Okay, so that's I mean, I, all the two. All right. there. Michael. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. All right, give me <laughs> Kiki. Ready? One, two, three. Do Why? you love me? <laughs> I was gonna say Palmer. She said Palmer. I said Winans. Kiki Winans? <laughs> is that is it is it Kiki Winans? Or is it Cece? Girl, you ain't even bit that's a oh that's Cece Winans. It's Cece, my bad. <laughs> you can't name me one of her songs talking about Cece Winans and Kiki. I like look, they could sing. I know that BB, family could sing. BB and Cece. I know they can sing. They got they got the one of the best all time um, holiday soundtrack. I'm gonna check it out, especially because I did all of this. I gotta check it out. Y'all check it out. You gave pub free pub. Yeah. For Cece, not Kiki. <laughs> Wrong name, Mama. All right, here we go. Naomi. One, two, three. Campbell. Campbell. All right. <laughs> here we go. Ooh, Justin. I hope we, I don't you think You ready? We, yeah. One, two, three. Bieber. Like, what are you thinking? Oh, my age. <laughs> Will. One, two, three. Smith. Smith. All right. Last one. Queen. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Like B. Tifa. I am old. <laughs> Me too. What are you talking about? Latifa. Queen B. Queen B is a thing now. You're right. But I did go with Queen Latifa. You can go Latifa. Golly. 
Why am I ain't connected? Hey, hey, press that router. Make sure uh, unplug the plug, bring it back. Like yeah. we gotta reboot. Go to the, this. Bo the box, turn the like, power off. Come on, wait three seconds. Yeah, we uh. gonna get it. It's all right. All right, let me get into this bag real quick. All right, so this is what I want to know. I, I think I, I love the person that you are mm. because of the openness. You know what I'm saying? Um, through your whole transition of becoming the person who is here today, mm. you went through different phases. Dark phases, healthy phases, good phases, happy phases, not so happy. Mm. How has that process been? Um, see, I'm into documentaries. Um, I'm, I love reading about people's lives, right? So I know from, when you watch like a documentary, right? It's an hour, two hours long, but this is somebody's like 50 year life. So because I've been so interested in those things since I was younger, like I love the Selena movie. Like mm. I say to myself when I'm going through like a year of like bad, I'm like, this is two minutes of my documentary. Mm. This is two minutes of my legacy. So. I just stay focused on what I'm gonna leave behind. Yeah. So I just, just, I just keep going. So that's how I've been able to navigate through the highs and the lows is because I just realized like it's not always gonna be low. It's not always gonna be high. You just gotta ride this out. And everything is a everything that I've been through. Like I wouldn't change nothing. Yeah. Everything I've been through like made me who I am today. Like I understand it. Like I'm good. Do you mind sharing your age? I'm over thirty. Say less. Now. Give me the title mm -hmm. for your 20s. Give, if, money, like, give, give money. Give money. Give money and reckless. Mm. What was the, like, give me something that you splurged on. Like, jewelry. Like, jewelry. And the shoes. Most, the most expensive piece of jewelry you bought. A Yacht Master Rolex. Yeah. How much? Well, yeah, it was like 42. This is a while ago. He didn't give it to you. $42,000. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. You yeah. gave it to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, in this phase of your life, what would be the title of that documentary? Or this this title of this scene or boom? Um, it's like Jay-Z 444 album. Like, I got to grow up. Like, mm. I can't keep doing the same things I did before. I like, that didn't work. Like, because I should have way more than what I have right now. I should. I was irresponsible. That's, That's why I said, you asked me the 20s. I said, get money, yeah. right? The first 20, 21, get yeah. money. 26, it was like, reckless. You moving reckless. Yeah. Hold on, you know? Yeah. So now I'm like, you know what it's like to get it. You know what it's like to f it up. Yeah. You in a space right now where you getting it again. You know mm -hmm. you on another run. So don't f this up. Man. Yeah, I like that. I love that. The thing too that I love about your story is you're open about being an exotic dancer, mm -hmm. a stripper, right? That's a female drug game. Oh my God. Yes. It really is. Like I'm from the projects. Like I ain't have it all like. But okay, since we're on, like I mean. we on this lane, right? And, and, and it's a pending question to this. What region has the best strip clubs? Top three. Dang, like the top three cities, mm -hmm. I would say Houston, Atlanta, Miami. Not nah, rank them. Oh, all right. Miami, number one. Are you serious? I'm going to say Miami, number one. Who's number two? Number two would be Atlanta, then Houston. But I don't really, I didn't really experience too much of Houston, but I do enjoy myself when I go. The reason I say Miami and Atlanta gonna be probably tight at what I'm about to say. They are. I don't care, I said what I said. Mm. I said what I said. I've been outside for some years and Miami is pretty consistent when it comes to getting to that bag. Atlanta be having like phases. Like these group of people was out, the club was up. PPP came out, the club was up. Miami is like you I think like tech people going there people from the, the other like other countries is going to Miami like soccer players like they not really coming to Atlanta like that they can't okay well that's their so, business that's why Miami number one and Atlanta is number two I know what I said Atlanta has phases and then Atlanta yeah no say Miami it, say first it, say it Atlanta like the look is just like the same on the girls to me in Atlanta that's why, like, my dude can't go to Houston without me. It's two places my dude, like, when I, like, date, 
Houston and DR. Hold on, baby. You said we going to Houston? You said we going to DR? Oh. Because I know what happened in DR. I, be, I heard That's about it. That's why you're paying in real tight. And, and you listen to what I'm about to say. What dude are you talking about? When I get one. <laughs> you talking about my dude can't go to Houston without me. When I get one, when I get my man. First of all, let me, uh, let me, I got a lot of backing up to do, but number one, let me tell you why my, uh, Miami mm -hmm. is... What you think is the best? Atlanta or Miami? Atlanta. Because Atlanta as a whole, Atlanta as a whole, mm -hmm. it's a skill to dance. But the Miami Miami holds it up too, though. That's cool. That's fine. Look at Tim Trill. Listen, I the understand. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Look, you talking to a strip club veteran. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We having a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and my grandchildren live too, and 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 and. Like, look, but I'm saying, like, when you go in these clubs. Mm -hmm. Like standing in front and just dancing or just you're not even shake. It's just like boom. Like I like the entertainment when it's looking like you about to break that your is no neck. No place in the world like magic. <gasps> There's not. I'll stand. You on that. about to break your neck, when I'm baby, single, with the wrong I'd move. Go and throw it up in KOD. Or... It's it's, a, it's it, it goes from like it. Miami has the aesthetic. You be like, damn, she is fine. Boom, here is that. In Atlanta, this girl is amazing. She's talented. Here, matter of fact, let me find, hold up. Let me get you a little bit something. And now, hold on, in a new age, they doing like Zells and Cash House for dancers now. Here yeah, in Atlanta. That's crazy. That's neither here nor there. I seen somebody with a barcode. On their thong? Man, it, it went straight to her Cash App. That's fire. Like imagine man, like listen. you giving a lap dance and you like that's right how here, you, baby. That's how you cut out the middleman. Yeah. You feel me? Tell me, baby. Boom. Like with the kid. They taking it to a hood. But you know, everybody all the finesses got you know, I still stand on Miami being a better. I don't. I got Atlanta. And then I'm gonna tell you another a city that need they well. Respectfully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. New York, y'all ain't a worth a damn. Yeah, I'm a, matter of fact, it ain't even, it shouldn't That's be. That's why I ran ho circles around them hoes, because them hoes ain't, look, they don't know how to do, they do not know how to dance. Let's just, let's just, oh let's just keep God. it above. You know what I'm saying? New York, y'all don't even dance. It's the bartenders that make the bag. Now. Like, the, what, like, what are we on, talking about? I ain't going to let you do that up here. Starlets messed the game up with that. I love Starlets. That's my family too. But Starlets low key messed up the game for the girls because I was one of the top dancers in New York. No, you wasn't. Yes, I was. Speak on it. I was definitely one of the, I'm like one of the, I went down to Miami, been down to Atlanta, and I took that culture and brought it up to New York. That's why, like you said, I ran circles around the girls in New York because they didn't really know how to like put on performances. They didn't know how to make themes for their birthdays. Like yeah. they didn't know, like, you know, like you said, like stripping is a culture here in Atlanta and Miami. Yeah. So I always worked at those places and always took something, you know, like Tip Joe was like a girl I looked up to when I came out and I was like, I want to be like that in New York, is and what which I did. So the Starless came along, and it was cute because before the bartenders was trash, like they didn't really look that good, like they was just like kind of regular. So it was a good idea to put the video vixens behind the bar, you know, in between gigs because they not, you know, they it was cute, like they was making their money and they was bringing dudes out, but. There became a time when the bartenders start frowning upon the, the dancers. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I became a bartender later on in my life, but I'm always going, I'm a dancer first, and I'm going to stand with my strippers. There's so many questions that I got. But the bartenders started feeling like they were above and superior than the dancers, and that's where the disconnect happened in New York. So the game completely got fucked up. Mm. Good idea in the beginning, you know, but every, where everything good comes bad. So. Yeah. I don't hate the idea, but like, you know, the girls like Bernice, Gracie, like they started that bartending wave. Mm. But OG Nia Lee was a dancer. I I'm more like I love that. Was that, your, that was your stage name? Yeah, Nia Lee. Mm. Yeah. NYA, New York always. Boop. That, oh, that is my little thing. I do be saying boop. How you do? <laughs> boop. We do our research. <laughs> but I will say this. Highly disappointed multiple times. 
They yeah. don't show no. They uh, don't show, uh, that blows minds too. Uh, come on. Come they on. don't show no kitty uh -oh. if you go wow. It ain't. Even, it, ain't it, not. it ain't a strip club if you ain't showing. Mm, hey, right? No. All right. See, Wi Fi is connected. That that that, that router just definitely got rebooted. I told you. You feel me? Now, take me through a weekend mm -hmm. like the heyday. How much you made? Keep it above. Oh. Um, it's enlighten me. Oh, Vegas for uh fight weekend for one of Floyd fight weekends, I made uh 37,000. No way. Me and Malaya was the headliner dancer. How many how many days? Um, I did Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, I don't know if I did Monday. I probably I was too up. I was like, yo, I'm not doing this tonight. 37 I had to stay in Vegas like a couple extra days, like because I had so many singles. Like I just had, I had garbage bags of singles. How like so I had to like straighten them out, change some at the club. Some day, like it was crazy. I had to get two hotel rooms because even back then I was on point. Like I had two hotel rooms, one for just my money, one for me to stay there. Because it was thirty seven thousand dollars. Like and, we and you gotta think one. every night. Every night, dudes is coming to the club and they seeing, like like I said, me and Malaya was like the girls. So mm -hmm. we're the featured dancers. And I'm going up there with my like $4,000 crystal Louboutins. Like, yeah, y'all know what to spend money on. Mm. Period. So to see it like, oh, that material is different. She don't even got on the stripper shoes. She's walking around stuffing ones in a Birkin bag. They're watching me. So I used to, even back in the days, like I would have a room where like the money and the jewelry and stuff would be and then where I'm staying. I like that. I like that. Now the heyday, what was the year? Huh? What, like when you be like, two thousand perfections, perfections, boy, boy, boy. What 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 year was your was your golden year? And you think back like two thousand ten. Like I had a great run though mm. years because I was like like I said in New York especially because I would peek out, come back like they don't even know what's going. On. They don't even know I copied this. You know what I mean? So I would say from like 2009 to 2014, mm. I had a good one. That's why I said like I had a great one and I look, I f***ed it up, y'all. Mm. Because there's some people out there that need this transparency, right? Of course. They no. need the honesty, so. But but this is this is the thing, right? Did you go to college? No. Do you think you're equipped to to the person that you have to be or that you are today? by going through that phase of your life. Going through the hustler, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like knowing how to, okay, cool, boom. I can't talk to the dope boy like I talk to the businessman. You know what I'm saying? Like I just gotta move That was my college. Stripping was my college, Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't regret it. That's why I'm, I don't mind openly talking about it. It taught me a lot. It gave me a lot. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. And like I said, it is like the female drug game. So. I always say that too. Yeah, like you're coming to so much money and you don't have no guidance. About. I grew up fast in it too because I I started at 18, mm -hmm. so I was in. That's the legal age, though, right? Yeah, to dance, and yeah. then they'll give you like a wrist man because you can't drink or whatever. But you, if you're 18, you could dance for the most part anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, I had to grow up fast because like I came in beautiful, mm -hmm. girls hating. Yeah, I'm sorry. And um, that life even hard in me too because I'm I am light in love. Like I don't like friction. Like I don't want to be like I'm very secure on myself. I don't need to put nobody else down. But like girls, the jealousy or whatever. Like I used to get like picked on, attacked, kind of like they used to talk, you know, in the dressing rooms, all of that. And then after a while, you gotta start knocking. You gotta be like, stop playing with me. And so see, you have to grow up fast. Do you see I'm triangle, 18, zero, 19, square, or X on my mother? 35. You know what I mean? Like, I'm 18, 19 years old. I'm fighting girls that's 35 years old. Like, and some of these got kids and big weight on me. Yeah. And I'm like, now let me ask you this. Some money, y'all. Two things, and we're going to move on. Mm -hmm. I want to know what's your, what's your finesse and age? Like, they say, how old you is? Mm -hmm, I'm 26. You said it. I like that one. Man, look, I met so many chicks That's 26. at 26 <laughs> so many times. <laughs> the same person. You go in there in 2001. How old you is? I about my age though either. 26. I'm and then you be like, you go back in 2007. Hey, how old you is? 26. You be like, damn! You go back in two thousand twenty-three. I just celebrated my twenty-first birthday two, two years in a row, like on my birthday flyer. <laughs> the, 
Jillian. Yo, I swear to God, if somebody could TikTok might debunk this. Like, I if they find a fly from this this year and then this year, it was like, come out, I love Nile 21st birthday party next year. Come out, Nile 21st birthday. Finessing. Yeah. That age stay the same. Like they don't. Well, I'm 21 for like three years. Three, I'm telling you. I know. That's it. That's it. That's but it. now, like, I just feel like I don't, yeah. I don't lie about it. It's 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 growth in that. My next question is, what's your tactic? Like when you when they come in, mm -hmm. who do you go after? And give me the 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 quiet one that's paying the bill. Mm. How do you know? How do you identify? I watch. Oh, I'm watching. As soon as everybody come in, I'm looking at watches, I'm looking at codes, I'm looking at movements. Um, I'm looking at that. That's the first thing you look at? When like a group of guys come in, mm -hmm. I'm looking at watches first, mm -hmm. then clothes, body language. Do you know, do you know your watches? I'm pretty good at it, yeah. Top tier watches what? Right now, like everybody like Richard Mill Richard. now. Mm -hmm. You know what the going rate of a Richard is? That I mean, you could go from two hundred to a million up mm -hmm. to a million. So that that lower, not let's say lower tier, that respectable. Give me, give me that when you say, oh, he got on a day date, but oh. not day just. Mm. But some a day just like could be like your everyday, like a stainless steel. Maybe like you just running around, mm -hmm. right? So that's not like horrible. But don't flex no day just now, child. You like, <laughs> listen, baby, let me get up. Yeah, don't um, do that. Don't flex it. Let if me you get just that, um, at the gym or you. It was a chill day, cool. But like I usually, you like for me, a man in the Rolex department would definitely have to start with a day date. Um, and I look at too like the other pieces that they have on, like the quality over quantity. Yeah. Yeah. Bust down or I like now I'm I'm I like more like plain and you know what I like like a plain Patek. I want like a Chapar watch, like with the like little diamond things. But I want that because like no girls is really on that right now. Mm. So somebody was like watching or whatever. And they wanted to get What's a that. definite <laughs> it's given a no? No, it's not. You but no, no 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 I'm oh. asking, I'm asking oh. like What's, What's a no when you looking at a dude's watch and you be like, uh-uh, he ain't, uh-uh. I don't want the hardworking men out there. Keep it a big buck. Like for me, an Armani Exchange watch, <laughs> it's like, what? No, bro. Especially like, I don't like watches that look like it's trying to be something. I don't like nothing that look like it's trying to be nothing. Clothes, bag, I don't like nothing. Like, Cause if you can't like me, I'm not a super designer girl though either. So I'm not gonna go. I'm not. I really am not. I'm not a because I'm not about to spend ten thousand on them YSL boots. Remember them sparkly wire? Those boots were ten thousand dollars, and so many girls had them. I don't. Yeah, well, it was like I don't like spending money on like stuff that everybody gonna have, and it's so expensive. You know what I mean? So I'm not into that. Like I don't like stuff that look like it's trying to be something. So you're not talking to a dude that got a fossil watch, G Shop. Michael Kors, Gucci. He's a kid. A Gu Gucci kid? Is he a kid? Like, what's a kid? Like twenty one? No, he's like fourteen. Kids have. Gucci All right, watch? 16, 17, His tummy yummy. He got his Gucci watch. That's. But I'm too old for that. I'm not doing that. But these are. I'm talking about Jamaican dudes be having Gucci watches though, up in up out of the park and be having that bag. Hey though. yo, ma. See, that's an island thing. They don't, that's a disconnect. Cause sometimes the country. They, yeah, they, sometimes they, dudes they, be having they, money they, and just they. don't know. Not like I love running into that. Like, don't know what, hold on, baby. We're gonna get you together. Those are the wrong cardiacs. You gotta do these ones. <laughs> and sometimes you can run into a dude and he just need to be tightened up. He got his that. He that, need that, a little screw. fine tuning. <laughs> what you got your camera at all? No, we going eh, eh. See, yeah. look, they're going back to the ranch. You can't have you can't walk in there with the biggest. But I'm, I'm talking about like at this big age, at this level of my life. Like, no. When I was younger, probably no. Okay. I'm off that. Yeah. Talk to me about this DJM. How did we come about it? Well, I used to rap. I started like I'm one of the first um I'm one of the first female dancers that became a rapper in New York. Okay. And I did love and hip hop. I got on there because I was rapping. Um, I didn't have no famous boyfriend or nothing. I was one of the top dancers and I started rapping. Um, a lot of people was like, no, I think I was just a little bit too before my time. 
Fast forward, life keeps going, life keeps going. I keep trying at it, I keep trying at it. Uh, I lost my sister, so I had like a year and a half where I was just literally just getting by. Like not doing nothing, like I had no goals. I was literally just surviving for my kid and just like, you know, like lost. And I love music. I'm like, I need to express myself. Like I'm in a space where like, I'm, I'm just waking up, going to sleep, like just getting by. And then I went to Vegas, Memorial Day weekend. And I ran into, I, I was coming back from the shops. I ran into DJ Drama. He's like, oh, Naya, what you doing tonight? Like, I got, you know, Jewel tonight because we was all at the Aria. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to pop out. I'll come or whatever. So I go to the party and I know who can. Now, I know all of these DJs and stuff because, like I said, I did music. So I know a lot of music people already. So we in the club. Who Kid always has this like big energy. Have you ever met him? No. He has really great big energy like all the time. So he comes in a section, yo, Naya, what's up? Where your music at? I haven't seen you in a while. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing music. Like, I ain't doing it no more. He's like, man, well, you need to do something in this music. Like, you should DJ. DJ Drama is like spinning and turns back. It was like, yeah, Naya, you need to be a DJ. You know, that's his voice. Mm -hmm. That's how I think he sounds. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, like something literally clicked in that moment. Like, I was like, Right, because I do like to party. Right. And like some people try to run from it. I love partying. I love hanging out. I yeah. do. It's social burn. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to New York. One of my childhood friends that I went to middle school with, she's actually a DJ, like an open format DJ. She's DJed internationally. She's really good at what she does. I hit her up. I was like, hey, I've been real depressed. Like, I need a, I need an outlet. Like, I want a DJ. And I'm so happy that she didn't gatekeep. Because she's already established DJ. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And some people could gatekeep, especially like, I, I have a bigger following to her and all of that, but that's my girl. Like, that's my sister. We family. I'm so happy that she was like, all right, next week, come, and I'm going to teach you. Literally like that. She was like, yo, come next week. You know, I got a couple gigs this weekend, but next week, Monday, Tuesday, come back to back. I'm going to teach you the basics. Then you, I'm going to send you on your way. I'm like, really? Yeah. I go get me a little set. I went to Guitar Center. I spent like $700. I done flipped that 10 times over now mm. and more. I went, I met with her two days. I love music. So I had the ear. I knew the counts. And I'm, I am I still got a lot to learn. Yeah. But, oh, like, it's such a breath of fresh air now to be, you know, behind the booth and curating the vibes of like an event and a party and like... You know, you know, DJing is a, a male-dominated thing, just like rapping. Yeah. So I love, you know, the other women that I'm inspiring, like that be at parties or just watching me. Like, wow, you won't lay down. Yeah, you will not stop. So I haven't witnessed you DJing, mm -hmm. but we all know that there's different styles of DJing. Mm -hmm. There's a DJ that he wanna. I used to pray for times like this, to run like this, to the matter, time like this, to the doctor in the patty. <laughs> And then, or is you the shout out one? Hey, yo, shout out to so and so, so and so. Oh, I'm definitely and do my shout out. I'm the dude in the club, like, bro, who the f is damn Troy? <laughs> Man, Troy, you what the fuck? You gotta shout out the people that's buying the bottles, though. But it's like, yo, and then there is a dude that it's like he played <clears throat> 20 seconds of every song and then he's going to the next. It's yeah, like, no, bro, I'm hold on, that. slow down. Like, and we ain't even got to the point. Or you play the song like, too long, or no. you mix it. And then never I like I know I got a lot of good cues. That's what's called cues, like the points of the song. Like so, I'm gonna go from this song to that song. Like I'm not. I may not play this next song's first verse because nobody really liked the first verse. So I may just play the hook and then go right into the second verse. Mm. Like that sexy red song. Like you like my voice. It, that's the second verse. So mm. I usually play like. I'm looking for the hoes, and then I go. You like my voice, so we could skip over. So I know the points to, I know the points to play, cause I've been, yeah, I know the points to play. So I'm a vibe DJ. Like I don't know how to open up yet. What do you mean? So the opening DJ is usually like the DJ, cause I've been doing clubs right now and lounges. So the opening DJ is nothing wrong with being an opening DJ. I just haven't get got booked for those time slots. Um, you be vibing like R and B, smooth, the, you're the throwback. Primer. I'm like, Maybe. throw that ass. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm that DJ. And like, where the money? Tell the club up. Yeah. Tell the club up. I'm like that DJ. Shake that ass and let me see what you got. You know why though? Because like, I even like, because there's sometimes I had played a little early in the night, but it's still like a crowd. It's like, because I've been to clubs or lounges early and I'm like, well, I'm here. Mm. I'm drinking. 
I'm already drunk. Why we got to wait for the people at 2.30? Yeah, yeah. I've been here since 12.30 Yeah. because I might have been out already and yeah. I came here early. This is, this is my I next stop. I ski E, ski E real quick you know right saying? now at 12.30. Yeah. So how, do you, how do you stay, my last question is, mm -hmm. how do you stay hip and, and, and up to date with your music? But not also, this is the, this mm -hmm. is the thing. Music is such a intricate tool that oftentimes folks don't like music is coming out so much now mm -hmm. that what about the music that dropped in January? That don't even live like or it, it's like halfway. Like you're, you know, I No, there's sometimes I go home and be like, dang, I forgot I had that song. Uh-huh. That's why you have that's why it's important to put your list together. Yeah. Like your crate as a DJ term, as yeah. a crate. But it's it's hard, but you gotta pay attention. Like now, when I go out, like now that I've been here in Atlanta, like hopefully I get an Atlanta booking, right? Like I'm paying attention to what they're playing here because some of the stuff I'm playing up in New York, I might play here. The girls and the guys, like you need to go back to the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but I'm gonna get my. I said this, but this is really my last thing. Uh, right, I'm gonna give you five different places, and what's a can't miss song that you have to play in these places? This is a good one. Let's, this you is ready? gonna put me to the test. Go ahead. So. You you doing a DJ gig in Miami. What's a can't miss Miami song? I used to pray for times like this, or something like this. In Miami? Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna take let me see. Miami. Yeah, I'm asking. Yeah, that one. I'm gonna stick okay, with that cool. one. Atlanta. Future, like anything future, Migos, like anything. But you know what's a really like a good, like a it's always like Massaging me, etching on up, getting that this with this one. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we turn to Miami to Miami. That one, that one too. We turn to Miami to Miami. That one. I'm Houston. playing future. Houston. Oh, I'm gonna be my big booty. So we're gonna go with DJ Chose. Mm. L. A. L. A. or Vegas, like one of them two. Ah, Vegas. We are gonna stay with L. A. L. A. Mm. I like Roddy Bridge. Mm. L. A. Yeah, I would probably play like a Roddy Rich. Say less. Lastly, New York. Oh, all these social networks and these computers got these walking around. Yup. Party gonna go up. Still. It was good. Like, like in all, if you went to all those parties, you would have enjoyed yourself? See, I'm, of course. I'm okay. going to enjoy myself, Rick. I don't even No, but I'm saying, but did I do good on my yeah, DJ course. selection? Okay. Like, I think if I'm going to if I'm going to Miami, I would have put a Ross. Something, something with Ross. You know what? See, that's why, like you just said, it's so much yeah. music. You're right. Yeah. I could have definitely. I would have did Ross, but also not forgetting, depending on where I'm at, I got to play Trick Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Atlanta, obviously. And Trina. You got to hit Trina. Definitely. Shout out to Trina, honey. Uh, Atlanta, I'm going to go with Can't Miss Future. Got to hit Jeezy. Gucci. Yeah, definitely got to hit Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Gucci, for sure. It's like every time well, in New York. What about Houston, though? Like, what you like? I got to go Bun B. Pimp right. B. Dun, 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 dun. See, but dun, dun, I was dun, like, dun, I told you, I'm the ratchet dun, 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 DJ, dun, dun. so I'm trying to have Or you know what, though? Ass. You know what, what though? Uh. Drake. Drake can't miss. Oh yeah, you can't miss with Drake in Houston. You can't miss with Drake anywhere. Yeah, um, L.A. I'll always have something it, like with Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? But Nipsey got so much woke trap rap. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, yo, I don't. It's such a good vibe, mm -hmm. but I don't want to bring out the bring the mellow right. down. And then obviously in New York, I, it, it's like every time you go, you always hear, "Allow me to reintroduce myself, my name." I thought it was a call. Like when we hear that, we yeah. just dun dun dun. As soon as you hear, you just like, wait, where, where, yeah. where we throwing it at? Yeah. Like that Jada Kiss intro. Naya, let me tell you something. I don't care what they say about you. Mm hmm. You good with me? Appreciate you. <laughs> so the like, router, the router turn back on. The Wi Fi. Been on that green with all the bars. Got it. Feel me? And as we end things here, we're gonna do this in unison. We're gonna start with this camera. Then we're going to go to this camera, mm -hmm. and then we're going to finish with this camera saying That's one love. Thing. One love together. Got All right. It. One finger. One pinky. Watch that thumb, man. Mm -hmm. One thumb. All together. One, one love. love. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah!
Thank you. My ship is going to be happy at this one. Real good. Yeah. Good uh, conversation, right? Appreciate that. It's a wrap? It's a wrap. 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 It's a wrap.